All right, and here we are. Welcome to to Kawi Talks. Today, I'm just going to be talking. You know, it's just having a conversation. We're just having a yarn. You know, it's just real mellow, real easy. Nothing too stressful. Nothing that needs to be uh, overly serious. It's just a conversation. I like this because it's like my opportunity to just ramble. I like rambling and just saying shit because I can talk a lot. I know that I can talk a lot. But I'm trying to channel it into this podcast so that I'm not just kind of wasting my breath on deaf ears or ears that don't want to listen. Because, fuck, I'd spend so much time just like, blah, 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 like lecturing people on shit that they do not need lectures on. And it's just information that I'm trying to hold in for myself. But I know that it will resonate with people who want to hear it. So if you put it out into the ether, into the internet, those people who want to listen will hear you. It's really that simple. I didn't fully comprehend it. I think I am still understanding what that means as far as comprehension goes. But here we are. Taking a big, big, big bit of inspiration from the brother Soul of Jarrett. He's all good. I really like him, eh? Um... He made me question some of my own beliefs about, like, sobriety, um, about my own way of life and a way of being and what feels right and what doesn't. But, he, yeah, he had, had a bit of source there. But we all we all have the source. There's not infinite fucking knowledge out there. Infinite knowledge. It's all around us. But it's like, what are you choosing to tune into today? Are you looking for hate? Are you looking for anger? You know, are you... Is it really that they are angry at you? Or are you angry? Are you just the one that's angry? Because if everything is a projection, you're just projecting that anger onto them and they're projecting it back. I had went to yoga this morning and it was amazing. Like, so good to just like... Bruh, bruh. It was a battle though, like... I was just like, fuck, how when is this going to end type shit? But by the end of it, I was like, oh, feel relaxed, recharged. But there was still a bit of tension between my mum, my sister and I. And like, we'd all just been having like a big blah, blah. And uh, by the end of it, it ended in a yeah, bit of an argument between all of us. And I was like, oosh, I'm entirely can, can, can like, I just need to just diffuse, apologise and acknowledge it's a tricky one navigating this realm but I'm enjoying it eh? overall like I've, I've gone through a lot of hurdles trials and tribulations all of this stuff you know roadblocks <laughs> but it's just an experience eh? and I'm accepting it and I'm, I'm really enjoying it it's been a lovely experience I want to sit back a bit and just kind of Enjoy my vibe that I've created for myself here. It's good to be home because I'm in Otipoti at the moment. Um, it's been recharging. Eh? I went to the beach this morning as well. I went to walk with my mother. It was nice. I like it. I like hanging out, just chilling, vibing, not too stressful. But yeah, I realize there's a place for different energies. And like, if you want to be in your masculine energy, be in it. If you want to be in your child energy, there's like a time and place for all of them. You just got to know. You got to notice. Be aware. Be present. Because when you're present in the moment, like, that's all you really need is presence. Because then you can see what's going on. You can actually, like, notice. But you got to be your own light. You always have to be your own light. No one's, no one can really light your torch for you. You might be able to help light someone else's flame, but only by being your own light. I'm my own light. Own your light. It's your light. But yeah, that really took me back, eh? Whatever resonates will resonate, because it's like whatever your kind of vibe is. If you're up here, you're down here, you're here. Just trying to maintain 
com baseline. It's a real tricky one, eh? Because like you'll get hit with big learning lessons, and they'll like be right in front of your face. And it's like, do you choose to listen to these lessons that you're learning, or are you gonna avoid them? Are you gonna run away from them? Are you gonna hide? You know, I had a lot of jealousy, a lot of anxious attachment style, a lot of like programming that I'm trying to break down and reprogram because I want to be liberated from it, you know, liberated and feeling free, feeling like me. Back on the sober buzz for now, it's going well. Got some nicotine gum, though. You know, the vaping, vaping is, oh, it's not my favourite thing, but like, yeah, it was tricky. I had to just like recalibrate again, learn how to just sit and be still. It's not an easy task to just sit, just to be, to just listen, listen to yourself. The more I listen, though, the more I... right here the more I listen the more I'm here oh right here right now that's all there is obviously like on an individual basis like it's you know you're here he's there she's weird I'm here <laughs> tapping in a bit of that uh, child energy but yeah, just fucking, just do you, bro. Be you, right? Don't let anyone bring you down. But don't bring anyone else down either. Just stay up. If you can stay up here, nothing can hurt you. It's tricky as well because, like, some of the advice, like, I thought that I knew what it meant, the advice, but, like, I took it the complete wrong way and it just, like, changed the trajectory, but... Still learnt from it, and I still am learning, continuing to learn, forever a student. You know, everyone says there's always more mountains to climb. But. We'll just figure it out, feel our way through it. It's all, it's all about your feeling state. Well, that's what, I've, that's what I've been looking into anyways, like your feeling state and how like, if you actually feel fucking, if you feel good. It's usually all good. But it's like about feeling like in multiple different ways. My jaw feels sore right now. Just breathe into it. It's what I learned at the yoga as well, you know. Removing those limiting self-beliefs. Believe in yourself. Let's crack up. Even like the primary school teachers had it. Hey, you know, like. A goal without a plan is only a dream. So I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to make a plan then, I guess. Make a plan so that I can execute the plan. I guess you're right. You're right. It's crazy, though. Like, if you're assuming manifesting is true, then you're always right. Your assumption is always right. Whatever you assume is truth. Might not actually be truth out there, but you project that as truth. You see it as truth. And then you seek that truth as truth. And then you seek that truth to back up your truth for more truth. So you are always right. But it's just your assumption on what is right. You always assume that you're right. But I don't know, bro. We're all just nature at the end of the day. Learned that one. I think. <laughs> But yeah, um, just continuing to try and take care of myself, really. Doing what's right for me. Um, doing what's right for the far, no. But what's right is love. 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 I just want to send that. Just trying to send out the love and the good energy. And that's not to say that, you know, you're not allowed to be sad. Be sad. Feel that sadness. Feel that. But feel what comes after that. 
I find liberation through the tears, through the breath, through noticing, through patience. You need to fill your brain up with the right words, the right thoughts, the right food, the right nourishment, the soul enrichment. You want to enrich the soul, the whole water, your whole aura, whole water. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, I think these headphones are making my jaw feel or something like. See if I can. It's probably this fucking chewing gum, eh? Feels like I'm gurning, but I'm a shaba. Shaba. <laughs> But yeah, we are the instrument, and like, whatever you choose to believe, just, just, just believe what it, just, why wouldn't you believe that you're sick, you're awesome, why wouldn't you, believe that you're awesome, believe that you can do anything you want, believe that you can do anything you put your mind to, because you can not do anything you put your mind to, if you put your mind to not believing that you can do it, then you won't be able to do it, because you believe that you can't. <laughs> I've experienced like both sides of those coins, eh, so... Yeah, that's a tough one, and like not everyone will like want to hear that. Not everyone will want to, you know, listen to that. That will hurt some people. That will irk them. But notice that irk. Notice that. Uh, you know, fucking the bro JP Jordan Peterson. He was talking about um, yeah, like behind the dragon. You know, once you face that dragon, you know, like on the other side of that is like gold. Cause you're just learning more about yourself. Because it's, it's a human experience. It's your experience. It's not mine. It's yours. So what are you choosing to experience? What are you choosing to see? You know, are you choosing to listen to the, to the news? Are you choosing to listen to, you know, the negativity that is out there? Because it is there. Everything's there. Like, what are you tuning into, bro? It's not... It's not all fucking doom and gloom. It's not all sunshine and rainbows, but... If you choose to look for the gloom and gloom, you will see doom and gloom. If you choose to believe that the world is a safe space, that everyone is your friend, you'll see that. You know, I was at the airport the other day, and I was, like, got really paranoid. Really paranoid. I was thinking, like, holy shit, bro, like, there's evil people out there. The Freemasons or, like, whatever the fuck it is. Like, oh, there's all, all this evil out there. Evil, evil. And I just started to see evil everywhere I looked. And it was stressful. It was hurting me. It was, like, causing me pain. And it was because I believed it. You have to flip the script. You really do have to flip your own fucking script. Reprogram. Realign. Readjust. To become who you want to be. I feel like myself now. More than ever. And I, I'm really grateful for that. I'm still, you know, obviously. Figuring it all out. As we all are. But. I feel like me. And I like feeling like me. It's not an easy thing to do. Well, I mean, I, I didn't believe so anyways, but, you know, I was writing in my journal fucking, like, this time a few months ago, like, I, I want to enjoy my sense of style. I want to feel comfortable with my skin. I want to I feel loved. I want to feel all of this stuff. <laughs> you know. And I do feel like that right now. I'm really grateful for it. And I'm just appreciating it, enjoying it just loving it but like bro doesn't matter eh just gotta be open open to new open to experience open to adjusting just open 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 sesame because like, you'd be surprised at what doors will open for yourself if you actually just allow them allow yourself to confront that shit that's irking you, that's hurting you. 
So you don't need to be stuck in your pain body. You don't need to be stuck in your hurt and the sorrow. You don't need to dwell on, you know, what you did wrong. Think about what you can do right. Like, I really want to heal and uplift people. Heal and uplift myself, you know, through nourishment of the soul and enrichment of the soul. Through so many different aspects, different channels, different mediums. Like, everywhere I've gone, like, I usually do just want to help. But I needed to help myself first. Like, I'm obviously still helping myself, but, like, needed to be that, that light for myself. Always comes back to that day. Eh? And like, you know, oh, TK, you super wise, blah, blah, blah. Well, maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. Sometimes I'm pretty wise. Other times, I could think of times where I was not the wisest, but we're learning. We are learning. We're getting there. People will probably see this and be like, yo, TK, what the hell? Like, you're way different to whatever. Like, you're not even acting like how you would act. And I'm like, well, Maybe that just wasn't fully me. Maybe that's just not who I was. Maybe this is who I am. Well, this is who I am right now. Because this is, this is me. It's a tricky one. We're figuring it out. I feel like I'm making some good progress. Really good progress, actually. You know, my skin's tan. I like how I look. I'm, I'm, my skin's looking pretty clear. I like my style, I like how I'm talking, I like myself, I really do like who I am, which is nice, it's nice feeling like that, I just want to maintain that, keep enjoying me, keep enjoying this feeling, this experience, this life, just remembering to be grateful, like, you know, I'm just grateful to be alive. I'm just so grateful to be alive. Vibe, vibe. We want to vibe, vibe, vibe. We want to vibe, vibe, vibe. We want to vibe. You put your phone down, so I see more rhyme. I don't know, did we merge? Shout out Will McLean, but I love your music. You're so talented. You're so beautiful. You've like, you've helped me as well just by being you. It's the same shit, eh? Same shit. You just have to be your true, authentic self. And not like a hidden version, a secret version. Just be you. But there's also a time and a place for those different versions of you to shine and to flourish. Because if you try to be a kid in the middle of something real serious. Or, you know, if you try to be serious in the middle of something really, you know. Like, there's just a time and a place for everything. All of those energies inside you. Especially the good ones. You know, kids are pure of heart. It's once they they start to become like develop like a self image or an idea of self and they're like, Oh fuck. I exist. I'm like existing. I'm being perceived right now by other people as well. I'm not just looking at the world. There's more people in the world than just me, like what the My mom, my my dad or Whoever's right, like, doesn't matter. Like, you get programmed from a young age, like, from a very young age, you get programmed to see, like, it's just buzzy, eh? Yeah? Like, this whole shit's so buzzy. A lot of people will probably think, like, oh, it's like, what the fuck? A lot of people will be like, yeah, yeah. But it seems like ancient knowledge eh, has been around for like a long time, like quite a long time. Longer time than time type shit. Got the eye of the horse. Oh my god, that, that's not what it's called, eh? It's called something else, but I got this necklace. I like it. It's like it's like all, almost Christian, almost, but not fully. I feel like more aligned with spiritual spirituality and stuff. I like that. Cause I just did like yeah, 
the Māori side of it as well that I feel more connected to the to the Māori in me, to the real, to the you know, all of that. I like it, eh? Like, I, I really rejected that side of myself for the longest time because I was like, oh, it's not me. It's just... But I finally feel ready to kind of like embrace it, which is, I like, really like. Just embrace every side of you. Shit that you enjoy. Do it because you enjoy it. It's your passion, you know? Like, I'm not talking about fucking doing lines of whatever lines you're doing. I'm not talking about smoking. I'm not talking about that. Because that's an escape from whatever it is really you're trying to... Yeah. Well, for me anyways, it was. Because, you know... I like... I like this. I like this. Ma Tewa. I'll see you on time. This was the car who talks. I can't fucking talk. <laughs> Peace.